Hi there, Dr. Craig here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a muscle energy technique that can help you to stabilize the muscles around the pelvis. It just helps to hold some of those pelvic adjustments a little bit better. Okay, what you're going to need is just a simple belt, like a pants belt. And here I've got a yoga block. You could use a textbook too. We're going to show more of that in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down on our back and you're going to take the belt and you're going to loop it around your knees. Okay. Now you can hold on to it or you can even fasten it together. Heels together, knees together. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to push open with your knees. So you're trying to push your knees apart and you're going to push apart for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. I'm going to loosen up the belt and I'm going to open up my knees apart. So now I'm about maybe six inches apart and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to push my knees open, holding that belt tightly. And I'm going to push hard, 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 like about 80% of my effort for another 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Then I'm going to open my feet apart. My knees are still apart and I'm going to do it again. So another 10 seconds, pushing open. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. So now we're done with the belt and now we're going to take the yoga block. Feet are going to come back together, heels together. Your knees, I'm going to use the narrow portion of the block and I'm just going to press my knees together as hard as I can for about 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now in this case, I'm actually going to keep my heels together, but I'm going to turn my knees open and I'm going to use the block lengthwise. Again, if you had a textbook, you could totally use a textbook and I'm going to squeeze together for another 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And then one last position. My feet are open about the same width as my knees. Still the block is turn lengthwise and I'm going to push in again for another 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. And that's it. Now, what you may find is that when you do that, you might actually feel a bit of a release in around your pubic bone. What happens is the pubic symphysis or the front of the ring of the pelvis can become shifted when the pelvis becomes misaligned. And so what the technique does is it's activating a lot of the muscles that surround all the groin muscles, the gluteus muscles, even some of the deep rotator muscles of the hip. And what it can actually do is we can actually get a bit of a shift that will happen within that pelvic bone um, at the pubic bone so that uh, you might actually feel that release. All right. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments section below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hope to see you soon.